Hi and welcome to Show Sir's Classes. Today we are going to be solving some problems on mathematical sciences that students have problems with. You can WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any queries, doubts or full videos on our courses. In the first question we are given with the word mathematics. Now we need to find the number of words that can be formed by permitted permutating these letters of mathematics. The given word is mathematics therefore total number of alphabets are 11. Total number of A's equals 2. Total number of T equals to 2. Total number of m equals to 2. We need to always keep in mind the repetition that that are present in the words. Now the number of words that can be formed by permutating the letters of mathematics are let n equals to the total number of words. Thus n equals 11 factorial by 2 factorial that are 2 factorial 2 factor these are the repetitions this upon calculation comes to 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 whole divided by 2 into 2 into 2 and this equals 4 9 8 9 6 double 0 that is option B from our given question let's see another one we need to find the total number of positive divisors of 50,000 we have 50,000 which equals to 2 to power 4 into 2 5 to power 5 this we have obtained by doing LCM therefore number of positive divisor of 50,000 are 4 plus 1 into 5 plus 1 which is equals to 5 into 6 which is equals to 30 and hence option B is correct in the following one we have a function x such that 1 minus nx for x belonging between 0 and 1 by n and 0 for all other values belonging between between 1 by n and 1 we need to figure out which of the following statements is correct limit n tends to infinity fn x defines a continuous function on 0 1 fn converges uniformly on 0 1 limit n tends to infinity fn x equals to 0 for all x belongs to 0 1 or limit n tends to infinity fn x exists for all x belongs to 0 1 let the pointwise limit be limit n tends to infinity fn x equals to fx which equals therefore limit n tends to infinity fn x exist for all x belonging between 0 1 now integrating 0 to 1 fn x dx equals to 0 to 1 by n fn x dx plus 
वन बै एन टू वन एफ एन एक्स डी एक्स दिस इक्वल जीरो टू वन बै एन वन माइनस एन एक्स डी एक्स प्लस वन बै एन एन टू वन जीरो डी एक्स दिस अपॉन सॉलविंग कम्स टू x minus n x square by 2 zero to one by n, which equals to one by n minus one by two n equals to one by two n. Integration from zero to one f x d x equals integration zero to one zero d x equals to d x. Therefore, zero to one f n x d x is not equals to zero to one f x d x. Hence, f n x is not uniformly distributed. Hence, option D was correct. In the next question, we are given the number root two i pi is a rational number, a transcendental number, an irrational number, or an imaginary number. The given number root two e to power pi i equals to root root two into minus one. That is equals to minus of root two, since e to power pi i. Is equals to minus one, which is an irrational number. Hence, option C is correct. Let's see another question. Let z be a primitive cube root of unity. Now we need define a equals to z to power minus one zero zero z for a vector v equals to v one v two v three belonging to R three. We also define mod v a equals to root over v a v to power t whole mod, where v to power t is the transpose of v. Now, if w equals to one one one, then mod of w lambda equals it will be option A zero. The next question. We have m equals to a one a two a three, where a belongs to one two three four, and a one plus a two plus a three equals to six. Then the number of elements in m is. Let us find out. M equals to a one a two a three. Such that a i belongs to one two three and four, and the rest of the condition. Hence. This equals one one four one four one. I'll do it in a jiffy so that you can see it in one all in one go. These are the elements, hence the number of elements in M equals to ten. Hence option C. Is the correct option. The last digit of thirty-eight to the power one zero three one is either of the four options. Let's see how to do this. One zero three one minus one equals to one zero three zero. The remainder when one zero three zero is divided by four equals. Two. Therefore, the last digit in thirty-eight to the power one zero three one equals last digit of eight to power two plus one, which equals last digit. Of eight cube, which is equals to two. 
hence option B is the right answer please like subscribe click on the bell icon and whatsapp or call us at the given number for any doubts or full videos on our courses